All right, the other big hearing today in Washington focusing on AI, and Deirdre Boza is following that one for us. Hi, Deirdre. Hey, Tyler. Well, you know, this time around, we've seen many tech hearings over the years. This felt way less combative and a lot more collaborative. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI and lawmakers, they seemed on the same page a lot of the time in terms of the opportunity, but also the dangers of AI. And they seem to understand that the stakes are very, very high here. Within the first, let's call it 15, 20 minutes of that hearing, generative AI was compared to the first cell phone, the creation of the Internet, the Industrial Revolution, the printing press, and the atomic bomb. They talked about nightmares scenarios. And Sam Altman talked a lot about how he thinks regulation will have to go hand in hand with responsibility from companies as well as public um, public education on this. So it, it was a lot in there, guys, but it was a very different kind of tech hearing than the one we've become accustomed to over the last decade or so. Was it it was more sort of fact finding and learning than than accusatory, right? Yeah, exactly. And they seemed, you know, the lawmakers wanted to learn. And Sam Altman had a lot of these questions because this is really early, right? This is not reactive like we've seen with social media when we've seen all of the unintended consequences come out and try to put Pandora back into the box. That's not the case with AI. This is all coming out right now. And lawmakers are trying to be early. In terms of actual concrete legislation, um, didn't hear a lot with regards to that. Again, this is early, mm -hmm. so I think that they're trying to understand it before they put in sort of those harder guardrails. You know, take, let's go back a couple of years ago when people were saying about blockchain, that it was going to be bigger than the Internet. It was going to make all of these revolutionary. And maybe it has. Maybe it will. I don't know. And now we're, many people are saying the same thing about AI. Can you draw any comparisons between the two here in terms of how disruptive and explosive AI will be compared with blockchain, which was so last year, so 2020. Yeah, I think with blockchain, we haven't seen actual impacts, actual use cases from it, even though the promise is still there. And many people here in Silicon Valley would tell you that that remains intact, even with the rise and fall of different cryptocurrencies and blockchain businesses. Generative AI is far different because this has already been changing the way that we search, the way that we view Netflix, the way that um, our social media is delivered to us. It's already mm -hmm. been happening behind the scenes to great effect. Generative AI, of course, is now putting artificial intelligence in the hands of consumers to do tasks that previously could only be done by a human. So it's doing things, and we're seeing that impact day by day. We're seeing business models yeah. rise and fall on the back of it, which is different than blockchain. Absolutely. Gotcha. <laughs> Deirdre, thanks.